we're going to be self-reflecting. Wait, wait, this is not the right scenery for self-reflecting. Hold on, guys. Now that is better. Let's begin. <laughs> question number one. If you could ask your ex one question, what would that be? So this is a funny question because I used to write a whole load of questions in my phone app. And it took me a while to realize that was not healthy for me. If anything, it tormented me. It made me so stuck in the past. Pask? It made me so stuck in the past, wondering what if this, what if that, when really, it didn't really matter. It wasn't going to change anything. It wasn't going to heal me. Now I know I need to, to let those memories go. Not completely forget them, but just not dwell on them. And that includes holding on to questions that aren't really helpful. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't ask them any questions. Question number two. Imagine talking to your ex. Finish the sentence. I'm so sorry for... I... Mm, I'm so sorry for taking so long to leave. I know that sounds really snarky, but I mean it in the most sincere way. I wish I'd realized I needed to move on to the next chapter of my life. And that's to myself too. I'm sorry, self. <laughs> I know it would have hurt a lot less if I'd realized sooner. But I know everything happens for a reason, so... Question number three. What has helped you heal from a heartbreak in the past besides time and meeting someone new? I wrote self-development. Finally giving myself a much needed time to understand myself, like my interests and dislikes and even my insecurities. Overall why I am how I am. One key thing I learned about myself is how I cared so much of his opinions and perceptions of me. And this was because I was so used to my loved ones telling me their opinions without me asking. They would judge me and rationalize it by saying, I'm telling you this because I love you. When in reality, most of what they were saying was shaming me and forcing me into their ideals, hindering me to become who I want to be. After realizing this, I started ignoring that voice in my head saying, this is embarrassing, what will they say about me? And actually started saying yes to opportunities I liked. Man, doing all those things made me feel so damn free. I was so damn busy prioritizing myself and loving myself. I started to heal from the heartbreak. And not just from heartbreak, healing overall. <coughs> Okay, final question. Question number four. What parts of yourself do you need to break up with? For parts hindering me from reaching my full potential. For example, the self-doubting part. It makes me too afraid to show my work, whether it be a script I wrote or a song I made. Because I'm scared a person who will read it or see it won't like it. I need to just send them my work because in the end of the day, if they don't like it, I'll learn something from it. That being said, I have improved a lot. I learned that I do have talent and I've met a network of people who believe in me and believe I have potential to. I still need to work on it a lot more, but I'm glad where I am now. I'm glad that I'm actually improving and believing in myself. I'm glad to be gaining more confidence. Woo! <laughs> No more imposter syndromes. And all of, to all of you creative people there, stop that syndrome, okay? You are talented, you have potential. Now that ends my video. <laughs> Woo! I hope you guys liked the heart to heart moment we just had. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about yourself. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, and subscribe below. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye! If, if you didn't answer, imagine if you didn't answer my phone, my call right, right away, I could be dead right now. Okay.
All the questions I use today is from the card game We're Not Really Strangers. I used to search up these type of questions in Google all the time and it's great someone has finally made a card game out of it. If you're broke like me, I definitely recommend going through their Instagram because they post questions in there. But yeah, if you have the money, I definitely do recommend this game. You can play it with your friends so you can understand their views, their opinions, their advice and it just really encourages you guys to have those heart-to-heart -heart moments that are really important. This isn't sponsored, I just feel like what they're doing is really really great and I'm encouraging you guys bring some awareness. My next video is gonna be an Among Us game so watch out for that. Bye guys! <laughs>